I don't know about y'all, but the last couple of days have been a bit crazy for me. Life is life and people is people. And, and it just brought me back to one of those moments. I remember being a kid and my mother would say things like, you know, if it ain't one thing, it's another. And I never understood what she meant, but I feel like as an adult, uh, I, I understand I have those those aha moments where I'm like, okay, you know, my parents might have been on to something. And I say that because the last maybe three or four days have been particularly interesting, you know, one thing after another. And I found myself getting frustrated at first just about how odd it was that certain things were happening and, you know, particular nuances with the situations. And then gradually as the days were going on and the things continued to happen, I started to become very frustrated in my person just around like, Laura, I had enough. Like, why, why, is, why are things continuing to happen? And I would say today things sort of came to a head. Things sort of peaked. And I found myself getting frustrated and rather ragey. And so it might not show on the outside, but on the in, like I might look real calm on the outside, but on the inside I'm I'm on Hulk smash. But you know, I found myself at times talking to myself. I found myself at times giving, you know, dissertations around why things should be one way or another. And I found myself eventually having a conversation with my wife and we were we were driving around running some errands earlier and we parked up so you know we could go home so we parked and we started walking home and i was saying something along the lines of like yeah like you know the other day was this yesterday was that and today is this and you know she was listening and almost immediately like i had this it was like my voice, but it was like this aha moment of like nobody cares. Like, <laughs> like no nobody cares that you feel upset or you feel frustrated or any of these things. What are you gonna do about it? And it it grounded me rather quickly and humbled me. Humbled me. Now my frustration didn't immediately subside, but my my higher self, my my mental started to kick in, my rationale started to kick in, and I began to process what was happening in a different way. I say that to say, you know, a lot of a lot of times we get caught up in what we are feeling about a given situation and it's sometimes mute on us that we are the ones feeling this. Everybody is walking around with some sort of perspective reality. My reality may be different from yours, and we might be looking at the same thing or in the same situation. And our, our relation to what's happening can be completely different. And the one thing that I'm reminded, it's not something that's new. It's not something that I, I, I've not come across, or I've, you know, not, it's not been imparted on me, but it's that people are focused on what's important to them. People are innately uh, self-centered and people are innately like focused on what's happening in their world. And that's even like people that love you, like people that care about you, people who truly are invested in you. You know, unless they are directly prompted. Like there, there are a few people who may sort of anticipate you know, needs and take initiative. But most people who are your people will show up for you if you call upon them, right? But outside of that, folks really don't care about what's going on with you or how you feeling or what's and I don't I don't say that in in a pessimistic way or I don't say that in a like, you know, everybody hates you type of vibe, but 
It's just that everybody got shit going on. Everybody got their own thing going on. Everybody's dealing with their life. Everybody's dealing with their plight. And they are going to prioritize themselves out of a sense of necessity, self-preservation. You know what I'm saying? And I found myself coaching myself around the idea that, like, yeah, you could find reasons why this isn't going well or you you have a valid reason to be upset or to not want to do x y or z but at the end of the day nobody cares life is going to go on and i'm i'm not a person who makes decisions based on emotion it's not really me like i could be fully 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 in my emotion like i could i could be feeling away for real and completely separate my rationale, my logic from the way that I'm feeling. And it's taken a lot of practice, but I'm still human. So I be feeling, I be feeling ways. And I really just got to tell myself like, yo, bro, fuck your feelings. Fuck how you feel. Because to be quite frank, your feelings are not loyal to you, right? Like, yeah, first of all, feelings, let, like, let's, let's talk about it. Because... Feelings serve a very particular purpose. Feelings are for connecting with people. Feelings are for, you know, empathizing, connecting, sharing, and exchanging, like, that human experience. But when it comes to problem solving, when it comes to logic, rationale, when it comes to, you know, sorting through and working towards something, that's, that's all this right here. That's all mindset. That's, that's, that's muscle memory. And feelings have no place there because feelings will have you doing things in the moment out of impulse, out of just the way you feel. And five or 10 minutes later, you might feel completely different. And I've seen people crash out because of how they was feeling at a particular moment. I was just watching, I was actually just showing my wife a video, maybe like last week or the week before, a video of... Wallow talking about him being locked up and him being locked up with some old head and the old head asked him something like, well, how long did it take you? And he, Wallow was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, how, you know, how, how long did it take for you to change your, your residence or something like that? And Wallow was looking at dude, like he's looking at the old head like he was a bug out. But long story short, what the dude was getting at was like, how long did it take you to commit a crime or how long did it take for you to take this action that changed your life for the next 10, 15, or 20 years? And so when Wallo, you know, spoke to the old head, he went and looked at his paperwork and he realized that it took him five minutes to do something that cost him 20 years. And that's the danger of operating out of emotion. I'm not saying that happens all the time, but it's an example. I mean... I think there's there's a place for feelings. It's a way to connect with yourself. It's a way to discover and explore things about yourself and other people. It's a it's a guiding system. You know, it's it's an intuitive system for figuring out if you feel safe or good or feel aligned with something. But when it comes to making decisions, there's there's really no place for that. You know, me personally, you know, I got programmed, you know what I mean? I was taught by my father not to make emotional decisions, you know what I mean? And so for a long time, I had this 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 perspective that, you know, I almost equated emotions with death. Like, like if I got emotional, I would make a decision that could be very, very costly, even fatal in some instances. And that might sound dramatic, but, you know, my lived experience, that was a very real thing for me. But I have to I have to remind myself at times that like oh, no no one nobody cares and your your feelings ain't loyal to you. So like acknowledge the way that you feel, check in with yourself, take perspective, get to the root of why you feeling this way. But shake that shit off, right? There's a there's a ton that I could sit in you know, just reflecting over the last couple of days, none of which is productive for me, my family, you know, you know, my 
my network or, or anything connected to me. Like, it, it's not going to do anything. And so I'm not going to sit and waste energy or, you know, ponder or project around what I'm feeling. And no, I'm, I'm not, you know, dismissing anything, but I, the reality is harping on what I'm feeling is preventing me from taking action and being proactive and solution-oriented and moving things along. And so in the spirit of being a person who is solution-oriented, is, you know, someone who likes to be forwarding in the way that I approach things, I can create space to allow myself to be human, but also put things in proper perspective and land at a place where I'm like, okay, so what are we doing? What needs to be done? What am I willing to do? And how can I make it happen? And part of that includes putting my feelings, whatever they are, to the side so that I can move forward in you know, the best way possible. I think this is something that a lot of a lot of people struggle with. People get arrested by their feelings. And, and the reality is, you know, even people that love you and care about you, can they can only do so much and they're only going to be willing to do so much. But you will absolutely crash out if you don't get your emotions in check. Emotional, you know, literacy is important. What I mean by that is being able to name, being able to identify and name what you're feeling accurately is important. Being able to pinpoint or get a general sense even of why you feel this way and where it came from is important. And then the emotional regulation, being able to, you know, pull pull in the reins and ground yourself, get yourself back to a stable, you know, frame of mind or perspective is, is key. Too many people, you know, get wound up and end up destroying, you know, years of work or end up, you know, doing things that have permanent consequences. And quite frankly, I'm, I've am i come too far and I've sacrificed too much to allow myself to be a crash dummy. And I don't want you to be a crash dummy either because, I mean, that you that's, that's just goofy. But yeah, I feel like it's something that's that's relevant, especially with men. Being able to allow space for yourself to feel, allow space for yourself to, you know, observe, acknowledge what's coming up for you, how you feeling, but also allowing it to pass and it to not stick to your spirit or become part of your person, your identity to where, you know, you're behaving through this lens of, you know, pride, ego, anger, hurt, you know, frustration, but being able to make, you know, you know, informed decisions that are aligned with either the person that you want to become, who you are right now, or something that you want to accomplish. The reason why you aren't that person, the reason why you don't have the things that you want is because you're not in alignment with that thing. You're not in that frequency. And that's the only reason why you don't attract the things that you want. And, uh, you know, me, I, you know, one of my, well, my North Star is you know, peace. And so there's a lot of things attached to peace, you know, being a, being stable, being grounded, having a certain environment around me, having certain people connected to me, doing certain things. And, you know, I, I had to realize I, I'm, I'm very familiar with the feeling of anger and frustration, but, you know, the more life I live, the more I realize that it doesn't really have a place anymore. Again, not that I don't allow myself to be human, but just anger isn't giving me the same ROI it did when I was younger. It's much more costly, you know, now. And I have much more to lose these days. So, you know, it, 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 it's, it's in my best interest and in the interest of the people around me, particularly the people that I care about the most that I keep that in proper perspective and I act accordingly. And I offer, you know, 
and charge you to do the same. You might be feeling a way, and you might have valid reasons to feel that way. It might be warranted. You might have every right to, but is choosing this perspective serving you? Is choosing anger getting you what you want and need? Is it, is it forwarding you? Is it helping you? Or are you just dealing with funky, musty energy and a bunch of people, you know, giving you their sympathies? For some, you might feel cool with that, but I'm, I'm not one of those type of people. And my people, you know, my tribe, my community, we not them type of people. So that's not something we're interested in. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it comes with the human experience, but we are looking to grow and evolve. And uh, yeah, that was just something that was on my spirit that I wanted to, to bring to you all. You know, I hope that you were able to take something from what I shared. And I hope that you can take it and do something positive, you know, in your day, your life. Because this shit, this, this shit ain't easy, man. Don't, don't let your feelings make you a crash dummy. It's not worth it. <laughs>